Hello everybody, this is Jess from Knit Plan Jess. If you are a returning viewer, thank you. But if you are a new viewer, welcome. I hope you enjoy my channel. I hope you stick around. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, anyways, today we are decorating in my vertical planner for the week of the 25th through the 31st. The last week of October, so obviously we're using the Halloween stickers from the Halloween and Dia de los, de, Dia de los Muertos sticker book. And there is some really fun, do do do, where is it? There's some really fun um, ghost stickers in the seasonal fall. So we will probably be using those as well. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing. That's just, uh, just, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. I have no idea what I'm doing for, for this week, but we'll see what we come up with, right? So, the week of October 25th through 31st. So first of all, what I decided to do is I want to, kind of thinking about going ahead and whiting out, um, the lines and I'm going to try my 0.7 acrylograph to see how it kind of goes over the lines. I think that this will actually work really well. So I'm just going to really carefully use my pen and just cover the lines up. That way I can be able to put down some clear stickers and I don't have to worry about those lines showing through. If you do not have one of the acrylograph pens, um, you can use a white jelly roll. I use these two. Um, right now I'm just kind of on an acrylograph kick, but I might also end up switching to the jelly roll. This is my only acrylograph. Let's yeah, it's not, it's, it's going a little slow. <laughs> so let's see if this kind of speeds it up a little bit. Sometimes if I'm feeling really lazy, I will use a whiteout and I'll just white out the whole line. So let me actually just show you that. So if you don't mind having like the whiteout look to it you could literally just do that so i think i think i'm going to stick with the white jelly roll pen now the week of halloween um i don't really have anything special going on i'm not the type to go out and go to halloween parties um my son is 15. He is not going trick-or-treating like he and his friends decided that they're not doing trick-or-treating this year. I don't know if we're going to be getting any trick-or-treaters. I live in an apartment complex and this I've never like I moved here in February so I don't know how they handle Halloween around here. I don't even know if I should have like candy on hand. <laughs> for trick or for, for potential trick or treaters because I know that if I have candy on hand and I don't get any trick or treaters well I then have to eat the candy and I don't really want to eat the candy I mean I wouldn't mind maybe I should get some candy just just in case <laughs> okay I need to let that dry before I go over it again but I'm going to go ahead and just go over these lines again um, even though the white jelly roll and the acrylograph they do take longer because you have to let them dry um, sometimes it doesn't completely cover it the first time so you do have to let it dry you do have to kind of clean the tip I sometimes prefer it over like compared to the whiteout because I think sometimes a whiteout can just look sloppy All right, let's go back and fill in this one. All 
I'm just not having good luck today with whiting out the lines. I think that that's, that's going to have to do. All right, let's go ahead and start planning. So while I was flipping through this to create my daily, I came across a few stickers that I wanted to use. So number one, this one that says, happy, happy Halloween. I definitely want to use this one. And honestly, I'm kind of thinking just using it just right there. And also, I did have some stars left over from this one page. So if, um, you'll probably see later this week on my dailies, I used this page for, for that big haunted mansion and I didn't quite use up all the stickers. So let's just go ahead and use them up here. I'm all about cleaning off a sheet of stickers. And I think that this would be really fun. I was almost thinking about using these for um, like a Bujo page in my blackout bullet journal, but this is just as good. Okay, so I also wanted to use, there's also those stars too. We have, okay, hold on just a second. So I decided to pull a couple extra books. So we have the Yay Seasons, because this does have a couple of um, Halloween stickers. So I'm probably gonna see if I can use any of those. And then I also have, this is the Teacher Seasonal. There is a page of Halloween. And I want to see if I can use some of these with it too. Um, I kind of feel like that these spiders would work well with those spiders. So that might be a good option. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm thinking of putting up two of these two of these spider webs. So we're going to do one at the start on Monday. I'm not even going to care that it's slightly crooked. Um, and then we're going to put up one on the 31st. There we go. So now it kind of looks like you've got the spiders coming down the side. And we're also going to use this spider web right here. But what I'm going to do I'm going to cut this in half and half of it is going to go on Thursday and the other half is going to go on Wednesday. So then that way when I go to look at my planner with the page opened, it looks like that it's right directly in the middle. And I got it to line up pretty well. So I also have these cute little ghosts that I kind of figured I would maybe put down the middle. And of course the black cat, like all of the little things that just, you know, obviously make you think of Halloween. And let's also actually what I'm going to do there is, let's see what else is in this one. Um, these are really cute and these kind of bring in like the spider again. So maybe we'll do this one. And I kind of really like this donut. Let's actually pick up this star though and put that star just up a little bit perfect and one thing else right there so I want to see 
I wish that, I will say, I wish that the witches did not have a pink background. Um, I kind of, I mean, I could do a black background. That wouldn't be horrible. That's kind of cute. Okay, let's go with that. And then in terms of functional, we got to have function, right? So I want to go check out this book first. There are some functional stickers. So we're going to use this one that says have a or meow, meowjical day. Okay, I can't, I can't say that. Meowjical day. That's cute. And I do want one of these little cat heads. He's going to be over here. I just think that it's super cute. All right, that might be all from that book. Let's find the functional in this one. So number one, if I come across a checklist, I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> I can't remember if this book had checklists or not, but I am kind of thinking of using I would love to find a checklist to pair with this. Also, I like this black box. So I'm kind of thinking maybe putting like the black, like putting like the boxes alternating on this side. Um, and let's do, let's see what other functional we have. I kind of want to put this sticker up here. That's fun. Um, okay, we have these. I can make these work. We're going to put this pink one right here. And then the to-do is just going to go right there and we're gonna put another checklist right here on Friday I need to go back to the to-dos let's use another one of those all right so here we go I am thinking this to do right here. And maybe we should use one more checklist, but I think I'm gonna use it right here. That's also all of my checklists. <laughs> I have none left now, but that's okay. I'm just gonna trim this off. That way it just looks shortened and that's okay. And I do want to find one more box. I might actually, let's pull from the seasonal fall because I think the seasonal fall did have some functional, oh it didn't. Okay, there's, like there's no functional Halloween boxes unless I was to take, no, those are, although, okay, I, I, I like these little ghosts. Those little ghosts are fun. So maybe we can like put a couple little ghosts around it. I just love Halloween. Um, I like being scared sometimes, other times not really. <laughs> Actually, oh, I know what I want to use. Okay, so I'm thinking of instead of using like one box, but instead I'm going to use 
a couple. So we're going to use that pink one. And then we can use this one so that way I've got two separate that's kind of really cute looking and I think I want to do also I really like this I really like this sticker and we're gonna actually put this little this little ghost is gonna go over left yeah he's he's gonna overlap it all right that's super cute i think this makes me happy this this works pretty well this is a good vertical spread all right let's go ahead and put this back into the planner i am ready and prepped for the week officially um so just in case you didn't know i've been using the cat planner from 2021 I'm really excited because 2022, my planner is going to be the cat planner. Um, it is the new modern now. I can't get away from the cats, you know, I just, I have to use them. So there we go. That turned out super cute. So I used a couple stickers from the Yay Seasons, from most of them from Halloween and Dia de los Muertos. I used a couple from Seasonal Fall. And then I used a couple from the teacher seasonal. So it was a big, a big mishmash of stickers. And I think it turned out super cute. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and have a good day. Bye. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the next video.